Hi, I'm Jane Johnston. And Nicole Smith. From Blood and Iron Martial Arts. And today we are doing the boob video. We're talking about breast protection. So, there's a few different kinds you can get. These are the two that we like to use, but there are lots of other kinds. Oh yeah. If you look on the market, there's a, the little discs that you sort of held over and then the padded pieces that you can put over. But honestly, for protection, these are probably your best bet. I'm just realizing now that this video is going to have a lot of this in it, and I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get right into our review though. So first impressions, when I first got this, I really liked it, first of all, because you can get it in your bra size, which makes finding something that's going to fit you really, really easy. And I found when I put it on, it was super comfortable right off the bat. And again, the size thing is so convenient for me. Mm -hmm. uh, one recommendation when you are measuring yourself, put on your sports bra, um, especially if you're working with two-handed weapons, you really want to keep things as compact as possible. So put on your sports bra, then measure yourself, because it changes the sizes just a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Um, mine's a little different than Jane. She's got these little straps that she holds hers on with. So mine literally is a bra. Yes, quite, it's a hard bra. <laughs> quite literally. Now the sizing for this one is pretty much exactly the same, except mine sort of has a, a plastic insert, and then you've got your sports bra over top. And I really like the fact that it's got the mesh in the back because it breathes really nicely, and I don't sweat to death when I'm wearing it. Um, again, just like Jane's, it's really comfortable to wear. I've never had any issues with it, so yeah, no, I definitely I tell all my girls get this one. So things we like, again, the fit is really good. It's comfortable. It's also great protection. I've taken lots of hard cuts, hard thrusts to the chest and never really had to worry about it. I also like that even if something ends up hitting you in the chest, it can go into the middle and you're still safe because there's no actual gap. So I really like that about mine too. Yes, this is um, very, very... Um thorough protection. It's not like a, the vests or like the little cups where there's gaps and spaces where, you know, you can take an impact or a thrust and it might actually hurt quite a bit. And I like the fact that these wrap around quite a bit. So even if yes. they're getting on the sides, you're still... It's that rib protection. Yeah, just a little bit extra. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is a lady video. Get over it. <laughs> um, again, fit, comfort, all of it. Really, really good. So one other thing I like about these is that they fit really well under the jacket. They're like a second skin, so there's really no issue in terms of mobility or in terms of putting a jacket on over top. I would recommend, if you're getting a custom jacket, which we always do, to measure, measure with first. your chest protection on. Yes. Because it's bigger than your extra. normal boobs. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. Okay, so for things that we'd like to see change, um, mine has a really weird thing where it can sometimes lift off. So I'll be fighting and I'll have it on and I don't know how or why, but sometimes I'll take a hit on it and somehow it lifts up and the shot gets me right in the I boob anyway. I don't know anyway. how that happens. If you, if you know what, play it back afterwards and, and <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll figure I'm it out. I'm trying to figure it out, but I really, it only happens sometimes. It's super rare, so it's not really a concern. And I'm sure that that would be fixed by getting one of these maxi guards yes. kind of covers because that just keeps everything down a little bit better. Oh yeah, no, this one doesn't move at all. It slips right into this little bra cover and it's pretty much exactly where you left it. Um, the other thing, and I don't really know if there's anything you could change, but the only thing that I don't like about it, there is zero compression. Um, you can't, you know, push down anywhere. You're, you're, you're kind of stuck with this, you know, hard shell that doesn't go anywhere. So, like I said, not a fan of it, but yeah, not really anything you weapon, can change. It can sometimes limit your motion because you can't just come in like this normally because you've got a whole extra big thing out there. Yeah. But, yeah, one little tiny thing about this, I would like to see it in different colors because I could put the black thing over top, but I usually just wear it on its own, and I would love to have something that's not just bright white flashing my boobs out there. <laughs> but that's just a personal preference about things I'd like to see changed. So other than that, though, they are really good. So. so in terms of overall impressions, I really, really like mine. I think Nicole loves hers, too. Yeah, Absolutely. two thumbs up for both of these guys, both the Econo Guard and the Maxi Guard. So this one you can get from Leon Paul. You can also get the cover for the Maxi Guard from Leon Paul, but not the actual plate itself. That one you have to get from QP Sport out of New Zealand. There's a Canadian company, but otherwise links are in the description. So pretty easy on that. One thing we will say though, is that chest protection is really important. There is a lot of research out there just saying why women should be wearing it for blunt force trauma stuff. So understandably, it's kind of hard to just get chest protection right off the bat. One thing that we have our women students use before they can get one of their own is just this. It's not really meant as chest protection, but it's better than nothing. It's a stopgap measure, but it'll exactly. basically take a lot of the force out of it. Yeah, so we do recommend that our women get these pretty much before they get any other piece of gear, though. One thing I will say is that I think these are probably some of the best things on the market in terms of breast protection right now. Yes. But there is no, like, perfect 
breast protection. And I have a dream one day that there will be breast protection that both has hard plates and is flexible and is comfortable and is just the dream. It's going to happen one day. I'm excited. But we got some people working on it. Yeah. Right now, though, these are the best ones in our opinion. So if you want to see a review of something else, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, bye bye now. No. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Kobe. Oh, God. I hate Kobe. He's Kobe. It's Kobe. a basketball player. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. You're better off not knowing. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to die because I'm thinking about Kobe. <laughs>